you get asked to design the man who came to dinner, and you think, well, it's, the, we're not going to do anything very radical with this. this. It's set very much in its period. You can't update it without cutting a huge chunk of it out. Um, and Kaufman and Hart, who wrote these plays with extraordinary skill and care, knew exactly the architecture, the structure, the geometry in which this comedy would be taking place. And so we looked at the ground plan, we looked at the photographs of the original production, we looked at the movie. That's part of the fun of the research area, is just digging into all this stuff. And I thought, well, we're going to nearly the era in which this theatre is built. Maybe I could use some architectural elements from the auditorium itself, the doors and the, uh, the shape of the arches and things of that sort, to make it, as it were, the child of the theatre, as if its sort of auditorium spewed its little offspring onto the stage, the theatrical space in which this story could most positively erupt. <laughs> of course, we do try desperately to make sure that there are no accidental details, that they are really specific and what will benefit, what will serve the piece maximally. You have great power for harm as a designer, <laughs> and um, so you have to try and guard against that a lot. If it isn't carried through properly, in every single detail, I go nearly crazy.